Hai Hai Hi, my name is Mukta Kalra. I'm a writer, trainer, TV news presenter, autism activist and a special needs mom. And this is my pandemic diary. March began with hyper shopping and hoarding, cooking, cleaning and doing household chores. It was weird but we were enjoying the family time together and uh, we were treating it like a vacation. And then the lockdown was extended, this time with more severity. April was not as kind. I developed tennis elbow which was triggered by all the household chores that I was doing. My doctor explained to me how I was terribly low on calcium and vitamins. So one of the biggest learnings was we women do not take care of our bone health and calcium and iron and vitamin deficiencies happen. I finally started on a strict regime of multivitamins that I was advised post-pregnancy, but finally made a habit after a decade. April started to show the effects of no therapies, no school and no physical activity. Now, most children in the spectrum need a solid regime of what is called a sensory diet and a fitness uh, structure in place. Our neurologist always said exercise is like medicine and Madhu was without his medicines for a month now. This is when the crisis hit us. Madhu had a repeat of unprovoked seizure. He had had a similar episode back in November, but he wasn't put on any medication. We had uh, introduced a lot of exercises and therapies back then, but this time around, medicine was inevitable. A tele-appointment with his pediatric neurologist was fixed, who advised us to start therapy at home. So the other big learning was, you are your child's best teacher and therapist, and you got to take charge. A lot of therapists in this time started offering training webinars. I enrolled in as many as I could. There were days when I had three to four classes in a day. But it helped me immensely. We created a home program for Madhav. His dad took over his exercise routine and I started to do yoga with him. We started to involve him in chores of daily routine. He was helping in the kitchen, helping uh, dusting the house, doing laundry. His medicines were also changed and we started to see the behavior issues come down. This also led me to launch my YouTube and Instagram page on my experiences with autism to help others like me with the same predicament. I started to put videos and resources for other parents. It was finally time to take my autism activism to the next level. If the child is eating one thing, then change the plate. Or if the child is obsession with one thing, then change the plate. But what happens is uh, the child um, is so used to eating it in a certain way. You want to eat this? Yeah. Okay, go. That you can't break those patterns. So you choose your battles. My third biggest learning was self-preservation. I am spiritually inclined, I love yoga, I love meditation, but during this lockdown, everything failed. The moment I would shut my eyes, all kinds of negative musings took over. Being away from my parents, I would worry about them. I would see my husband stressing over the situation and that would worry me. Uh, my son was showing behavior deficits and of course there was no help, no cooks, nothing. So, you know, we were doing all the work on our own. I was struggling. I was putting up a very strong front for everyone around me, but it was taking a toll somewhere. I felt fatigued, dehydrated and had terrible mood swings. And then I discovered art therapy and a beautiful art circle. I figured I was doing well if my mind was gainfully occupied. 
It was like meditation in motion. I started learning various forms of arts, Madhubani, Verdi, uh, Matani Pacheri, uh, Pathachitra. I also took to audiobooks and podcasts and together they became my therapy. As I started to handle it all bit by bit, I was hit with the news of COVID in family. My mom was COVID positive. Worried sick, I was getting frustrated sitting in a different city. Thankfully, mom was asymptomatic and we got past the COVID scare with ease. But for my mom, her being COVID positive later became a prerequisite for her going for an elective surgery of knee replacement. And I braved the travel to be with her. The first six months of the lockdown saw me put kilos like a pregnant person. I touched 71 kilos, but my body, I guess, wanted the food love. Food was a big leveler during lockdown. Cooking all kinds of food and occasional drinking and watching Netflix with husband was our bonding time. We both put on the happy weight. By this time, the lockdown had slightly eased to allow exercises outside of home. And we both went on a total detox, uh, on a healthy routine and included uh, uh, exercise into our days and here I am today 10 kilos lighter feeling healthier a bit wiser and with pandemic experiences that were both lovely and low getting out of the pandemic I find myself as a changed person and I look back at 2020 as really one of my big years of gratitude and immense learning